Putin and got it. You heard that, right? I did. Did you see Aaron's face? <laughs> Aaron goes. So here we are at Bergen County Horse Rescue in Ma Mawa, New Jersey. That's a mouthful, Mawa, mm -hmm, right? It is. And Erin is the founder of um, Bergen County Horse Rescue. And we're going to put the information down right here for everybody to see, all their social media. And, um, you know, any, any help you can give them is always awesome. But tell us, how long have you had the rescue? We've had the rescue, we officially formed the rescue in 2016. 16, okay. Yep. Wow. And tell us who we have here today. This is Dusty. Dusty is a 16-year-old paint. Um, he has been diagnosed with navicular in his front right okay. pretty recently. Um, <clears throat> he does wear some special shoes. Um, I've noticed as of recently, his conformation has shifted mm. a bit. He's become a little bit more suede. It's become a little bit more prominent. Yeah. And then he has this extra little ridge that he hasn't always had. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's the compensation from the navicular or something else is possibly going on. Yeah. Can I look at your ridge, Dusty? You gotta ask before you look at someone's ridge, you know? <laughs> Dusty, I'm gonna check you out back here, okay? Oh, I see what you mean. You mean right back here on the pelvis here? Yes. How old did you say he is? He's about 16. Okay. And how long has he been here? He's been here probably six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's, you guys are all familiar with each other then. Yes. So, hey, Dusty, can I work with you today? What do you think of that? Mm hmm? I think that's a yes. Is it okay if I work with him? Absolutely. All right. So I'm just checking the space here and just feeling what the atlas feels like. So sometimes you can feel the spacing, like two fingers just sit right in that little groove. And then on this side, only one finger fits in the groove. So you know they're unequal, but that felt normal. But what I did feel is a lot of tension up here at the pole. I'm just gonna put my finger right in there and just let you chew a little bit while I hold the atlas. So I'm doing this because it kind of sets a chain, chain reaction up. It gets his mouth relaxed and it gets his mind off his pole while I'm touching the pole and the jaw loosens up. I'm just letting him work for me. And it's just kind of a little way to get him going. Good. Let's bring your head up, down a little bit. Can you come down with me a little bit? Good. Good, and shake that out, shake that out. What do you think? What are you talking about over there? I'm gonna slip my hand under here and got it. Now we give him a little room. That whole pole area can be really tight. Let me feel it now. Did you like that at all? Hmm, let's feel your TMJ. That feels okay. So now I'm gonna come down your neck and feel your neck. You got a spot right here at C1, C2, I'm gonna just hold that spot. So I'm gonna put a little light pressure on the muscle knot right here. There you go. Okay, that feels good now, right? So I was able to move that. Can you see him do a little, which is good. And coming down your back now. It's two big landmarks here, the tuber sacralis, and I always look for those because it kind of lets me know where I am. Horses have seven bones in the neck, typically 18 in the thoracics, and then six lumbars. It's possible to have five, but most have six. And then there's the sacrum, and an average of 15 coccygeal segments in the tail. I'm at the sacrum right here now because I feel those landmarks, the tuber sacralis, and I come between, then just above that would be L6. L6 is out on him, so that's something I do want to adjust. 
you know, we have a sciatic nerve in humans and animals that go down the back left and the back right, so there's two of them. You got a little bit of a, lost some muscle in your butt, Dusty. And so you see this side sloped even. I do see that. Yeah. So here, this side, and I wish I had a stick to put up there. Oh, here's a broom. Just what you asked for. Here, bring it around this way. No, he's, he just fixed it. <laughs> do I get credit for that? <laughs> I think so. Because listen, I'm here, so I should get the credit for that. All right, forget all of that. It's, it's better. We should probably leave that in because it makes me look bad. <laughs> and I'm sure people enjoy that I just messed that whole one up. Let's feel the hamstring. That one feels tight. They both feel a little tight. So then we reach around on the opposite side. There could be a poop coming out any second. This is the box, okay? You want to see that box? You want to bite it? <laughs> you ready? Take a breath in, Dusty. You gotta ask him to breathe. If you're watching, you should take a breath too. It'll help somehow. Big breath in and blow it out. <laughs> you heard that, right? I did. That was really loud. Good, I like that one. Did you see Aaron's face? <laughs> Aaron goes, all right, I know everybody doesn't see this slope as much as I do, but the right side's a little higher, and, um, and this side's sloped down right here. Ready? Oop, that's Ooh. tender. That's a tender spot. It's quite reactive. Yeah, that's a tough spot. And you can even feel the hair is like a little bristly right there. So when I come down, it's smooth, 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 and then it gets bristly right there. Big breath in. <sighs> Blow it out. Okay. I think I got that one. So we're gonna see if he reacts to that. So we're gonna give him a little space. So I'm back here again, Dusty, okay? I wanna just feel around your tail and I'm waiting for him to lean away from me. There we go. Let's see him walk now. Okay. And we're gonna look at that front right in a second. He looks relaxed though, right? Yeah, his head is nice and low. He's more relaxed. So what's happening with the front right? Is he in pain these days? What does the vet he say? He has been in some pain. Yeah. So we did adjust the way um, his hooves were done. Can I have this leg, baby? So you can see he's got, he's got a special hoof in there. So I'm gonna, ooh, that just cracked. Bring it this way. I'm gonna bring this shoulder up a little bit too. Right like this. <clears throat> All right, now we'll let him think about that one because I just lifted the whole shoulder up. Let's go back to that front leg, okay, Dusty? There you go. And there it is a little bit out. Nope. I'm better with my right. Don't back up. Okay. So what I was thinking is I still want to do your back left pelvis. Is that okay? When this is really and spasm. It kind of holds the ribs down, pulls you in here. So I'm going to hold this trigger point for a second and I'm watching his eyes, I'm watching his ears. This is a painful spot. There, yeah, yeah. Yep. it comes up, right? Yes. I think that one helped a lot. That one helped a lot. And you can see he's not so sway right now. So that Do you want a little belly a rub? Better. Do you like belly rubs? <laughs> he's moving much better. Okay. I definitely see he's not as swayed at all, but I could see it also just when I was walking with him that he wasn't so stiff in his hindquarters and his head was much lower and much more relaxed. Good boy, Dusty. Nice to, nice to work with you, Dusty. It's I'll come boy. back and visit you. You're a good guy. All right, thank you. Thanks, everybody. There you go. So I was able to move that. 
you seem to love which is good